Tonight's homework is graphing equations that are in the form y equals mx plus b. So our objective tonight is I can rewrite equations in slope-intercept form and then graph. So that's what we're going to do for these two problems. The first step is to rewrite in slope-intercept form. And we've talked about slope-intercept form being in the form y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rewrite this in slope-intercept form, which means we need to isolate y by itself. So our first step here will be to subtract x from both sides. x minus x, that zeroes out. So on this side, we're left 4y equals 0 minus x is just negative x. Then we say, okay, now 4 is being multiplied by y. How do I undo multiplication with division? So to get y by itself, I'll divide both sides by 4. And I'll have y equals negative x over 4. So we're almost set to go. It's almost in the form y equals some number, the slope, times x, plus some number, the y-intercept. So I'm like, okay, what's in front of this x? Oh, there's a 1 there. So this is y equals, if it's negative 1x over 4, I could write this fraction out in front, negative 1 over 4 times x, negative 1 fourth times x. Hmm, I don't see a plus some number. Oh, I'll just put plus 0. That tells me my slope is negative 1 fourth and my y-intercept is 0. So my slope is negative 1 fourth and my y-intercept is 0. Now I'm ready to graph this because what we do, step 1, we plot the y-intercept. So if my y-intercept is 0, what are the coordinates of that point? Well, x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 0. This b gives us our y coordinate of the y-intercept. So I'm like, okay, 0, 0 is definitely on my line. Next step, Use your slope to determine additional points. That's ugly. Determine additional points on the line. Oops, sorry about that. I've jumped slides. <sighs> so we're going to use the slope to determine additional points. What we mean by that, if the slope is negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth, Top number will tell us whether we go up or down. If the slope is negative, we go down 1 from that y-intercept, and the bottom number always tells us go to the right. So we'll go to the right 4. So from your y-intercept, you use that slope, and you go down 1 to the right 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 1 to the right 1, 2, 3, 4. And we would continue to go down 1 to the right 4, but then we'd be off our graph. Now, if I go down and to the right to get the pattern of points going up this way, I go down 1 to the right 4. Oh, the opposite of that would be up 1 to the left 1, 2, 3, 4. Up 1 to the left 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, I can continue to go up 1 to the left or I'd be off my graph. Now, I'm going to tell you, my line is not going to be straight. I know there needs to be arrows at both ends, so I'll go ahead and write that in. I know there's got to be my equation, x plus 4y equals 0, or you could have written y equals negative 1 fourth x, and my line is not going to be straight because I know I can't do it without a straight edge. Your lines had better look a whole lot better than mine. Oh my gosh, that's awful. <laughs> You get the general idea, though. This should be a beautiful straight line going through 0, 0 with a slope of negative 1 fourth, down 1 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there you have it. There's the first homework question. Let's try the next one. All right, again, I need you to graph in slope-intercept form. So if it's given to you in a different form, in standard form, you need to rewrite it so it's y equals mx plus b. y equals some number times x plus the y-intercept. Our slope is our m. Our b is our y-coordinate for our y-intercept. So the first thing I need to do is get this in the form where I've isolated y. So I start by subtracting off the x. So I subtract 6x on both sides. 
6x minus 6x zeroes out. What am I left with on this side? Don't lose that negative. That's a negative 2y equals. On this side, these are not like terms. I can't combine them. I'm going to write my x term first, negative 6x, and then I still have this plus 12. To isolate y, negative 2 is multiplied by y. We undo multiplication with division. So I'm going to need to divide each term by negative 2, because if I divide this whole side by negative 2, in the end, I'll have to divide each term by negative 2. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's just 1y or y equals. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that's a positive 3x. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so that's a minus 6. Now I'm in the form y equals some number times x, so that 3 must be our slope. Plus or minus some number, negative 6 must be our y-intercept. So our slope will be 3, and our y-intercept will be negative 6. That means the coordinates of our y-intercept are 0, comma, negative 6. That b gives you the y-coordinate of your y-intercept. We know for the y-intercept where we cross the y-axis, our x-coordinate will be 0. Slope, it's important that if your slope is 3, you rewrite that as a fraction because we have to have a top number that tells us up or down and a bottom number that tells us left or right. So now I'm ready to go ahead and graph this. The first thing I do is I plot my y-intercept. So step one, you always plot the y-intercept. And I know my y-intercept is 0, negative 6. So my first step is to do 0, negative 6, and to plot that point. Second step is to use the slope to find additional points. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use our slope, which was 3 over 1, to find additional points. That will give us more points on our line. So our slope is 3 over 1. Top number always tells you up or down. So if it's a positive, we go up 3. Bottom number always tells you move to the right. That's how we always start. If it's a positive slope, we move up to the right. If it had been a negative slope, we would have moved down to the right. So we're going to move up 3 to the right 1 from that y-intercept. That's why you have to plot that first. And we go up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. We continue that pattern of points. Up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. Up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. Up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. I talked to you in class. I want a pattern of points all the way across the grid. Up 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. If I'm going up 3 to the right 1, how can I find more points? Up and to the right, we could go down one, two, three, but now to the left one. Now we have a beautiful straight line. And as soon as it's in the form y equals mx plus b, we know it's going to be a straight line. We have a beautiful straight line. We have 6x minus 2y equals 12. You could have also written y equals 3x minus 6. Again, I'm not going to be able to do a very nice straight line because I don't have a straight edge with me. I should have brought a straight edge home. Oh, my line is terrible. Oh my goodness, you're going to have to excuse this line. But had I had a straight edge home, you would have seen this as actually a beautiful straight line. So what I need for you to do is make sure that you're comfortable graphing from slope intercept. First step, put it in slope intercept form, which means isolate y by itself. Whatever the last number in the constant in the equation is, that will be your y-intercept. First step, plot that y-intercept, then use your slope to find additional points. Hopefully that was helpful for tonight's homework. Try to have a good night. See you tomorrow.